Hello and welcome! My name is Waldo, and in this video, I'll be mating a 5-speed Eaton Fuller transmission to my 5.9 Cummins. If I have time, I'll probably install a new vacuum pump on the Cummins and paint it as well. In the last video, I introduced the Eaton Fuller 5-speed transmission that I bought. It came off a medium-duty Freightliner with a 6BT Cummins, and it came with a clutch, a flywheel, and a flywheel housing. Today, I'm going to try to get these to fit up to my 24-valve Cummins ISB. Before I can do that, I need to remove the NV4500 transmission that's currently attached to the Cummins. fuzzy stuff in here. I don't know if this is because there was a mouse or something living in there or if this is like clutch material or what. I've never seen anything like this before. Could be a mouse though because there was because uh, I've had the starter removed so it may very well be that a mouse went in there and decided to make a little nest. With the transmission out of the way I can remove the pressure plate, clutch, flywheel and then I can get to the flywheel housing bolts. Disgusting. This is a dead mouse. And now with the flywheel housing removed, I can bolt up the flywheel housing from the Freightliner. I don't know for sure if it's going to fit, but I looked at it and visually it looks like it probably will. Let's find out. Yeah, it looks like a good fit. Alright, 
All right, next I can bolt up the flywheel from the Freightliner. Uh, I measured the bolt holes and it looks like it should fit. I'm going to be using red Loctite on the threads of these flywheel bolts because you really don't want these to come out. So I have to say, I think these are going really well here. Uh, there were two unknowns. So number one is, would the flywheel housing bolt up to the engine block? And it did bolt up just fine. Number two was, would the flywheel itself bolt up to the crankshaft? And that also did just fine. So I'm confident that this transmission is gonna bolt up and it'll work just fine. So I haven't mounted the transmission yet because next I'm gonna put the engine on a stand so I can do some more work to it and put some paint on it. But I'm gonna save that for the next video. So just a quick channel update. Things have been a little slow getting videos out lately, but I'm feeling better now and I'm back on projects full time. So I have had some projects I didn't film. Like for example, I just replaced the radiator, intercooler, AC condenser, and radiator support on my Volkswagen Golf R. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing videos like that in the future. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Thank you for watching.